and he wasn't capable of getting his wife back from being raped by this other god, god that kidnapped her, that he required the assistance of the monkey god and his monkey army. <laughs> do, you believe that? do you believe that's true? You can't go wage a war with a great opponent who have great army without the grace of Lord, without the grace of God. And Ram was worshipping Lord Shiva. Right? Shiva. So who is the most eligible person to win the grace of Shiva? Ravan. Ravan is the opponent. But he is connected to Shiva very deeply. So they decided to invite Ravan to do a homa for the victory of Ram to fight against Ravan. Can you believe this ultimate righteousness, ultimate act of righteousness? Also, he is a Brahmin, priestly class. They cannot say no. So when they when people went and asked him, would you like to come? Can you come to do a fire ceremony for the victory of Ram? Who will kill you? <laughs> Ravan said, I'll come. He said, I'll come. He cannot say no. He said, he will come. He came. He did the, he performed the ceremony as a proper priest. Very well, Shiva appeared. Blessed for the victory of Ram. You know, then Ram wanted to offer something. Then he said, okay, I ask you one thing. At the time of my death, you should be with me. Just imagine. You know, Ravan said, God is pleased. You will become victorious. You will fight me. You will kill me. At the time of my death, I want you to be with me. This is a proper investment. He is a very smart man. An avatar standing next to you at the time of death, ensuring moksha. This is guarantee, you see. Ram is a proper avatar, which Ravan knows very well. And I think he did not see that to ensure this. That at the time of his death, Ram is standing next to him, which happened actually. In the war, Ram defeated Ravan and when Ra Ravan was dying, Ram was there. When an avatar is standing next to you, your whole karma is deleted. Life is done. What you cannot attain through thousands of years of penance, you can attain with the simple truth, simple thing, the presence of an avatar in your life. So Ram is a villain or a smart man. Very clever, very smart. So this is righteousness. What does these stories tell us? Whatever your relationship, whatever your equation is with other people, you should always remain righteous. Understood? Whatever you, you like or dislike or you are enemy, or, but you should always be righteous. These great gems of lessons, these great lessons are given by great scriptures.